Hello and welcome to 9design3D. Today I will show you how to convert our vector files, especially SVG file, to the 3D mesh or 3D curve. Let's go to the tutorial. First, we will download something from the Google. I search as a free SVG and as you see there are too many types of websites. I will download something from the free SVG.com. I downloaded this type of uh, wiking and ethnical pattern type. And this Celtic knot, you can download this. And I will show you this Celtic knot cross. First, we will go to File, Import, and Scalable Vector Graphic. We will press this and we will choose our SVG file. After we import, as you see, it came in here. They can be separated. If you want, you can choose all of them and Ctrl J to join them together. And now, from the right bar, as you see, this is curve. When you press your dots in edit mode with the tab, you can press it. And as you see, you can move your vertices with this. If you want, you can delete your material from here. And we will change something on it. Go to curve settings and under this, decrease your resolution. We don't want to make it too high. Under the geometry tab, you can give some extrude for this. With the extrusion, you can give a shape for the 3D for that. In the offset, it can be glitch, but in the bevel, with the depth, you can set up your vector file like that. Press right click and convert to mesh it. It's becoming here as a 3D mesh. After all of that, if you want, you can add some materials for your pattern or with the new name for your 3D mesh. Let's make the others. Again, go to File, Import and SVG, Scalable Vector Graphic, we will import it. And the Celtic Cross, I will import this SVG file. As you see, it came in here as a whole object and this is Curve 2. As you see from the right bar, you can set up your resolution from here. You can give some shape, but when you decrease resolution, please don't lose your shape. Under the geometry, you can give some extrude for this. In this type of vectors, you can use this maybe on the walls or some clothes. I will use this type method for fantasy clothes. As the same thing, you can right click on it and convert to mesh. If it's too high and if it's too dense, as you see, the vertex are too much, you can add some decimate modifier to this. With the decrease in your ratio, you can decimate it, but it can be a bit weird when you too much decimate. And after decimate it, you can Ctrl A and apply your modifier. If you want, you can add different material on it. And set your render view. In this type method, I really liked it. I'm making a fantasy cloth tutorial for this and I will use it. I want to show before all of it how to make our vectors to 3D. If you don't have an SVG file or only maybe you have some PNG and black and white, you can use some online websites for to convert your PNG to SVG. As the same method, you can use it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later in new tutorials.